Hey guys, so I know a lot of people are interested in starting a vegan plant-based diet, but they don't know where to start. So here are my tips for starting a plant-based diet. Step one, stop eating meat, dairy, and eggs. Okay, it's a, a little more complicated than that, I realize, although that is the most important step. But so when I first went vegetarian, I actually struggled. I was like, I don't really know what to eat. And like a lot of new vegetarians, my diet actually focused mostly on processed carbs and cheese. So things like macaroni, quesadillas, you know, uh, foods like that. And that's why a vegetarian diet kind of just doesn't cut it. Like it's healthier than a meat eating diet, but it's still too easy to be unhealthy. So a vegan diet is a little bit easier, although Oreos and Coca-Cola and you know French fries, those are all vegan foods. So you still do have to be conscious about what you're eating. And I think a big question is, well, if you don't eat meat, dairy, and eggs or processed foods, that's another big one that you have to give up on a whole foods plant-based diet, what do you eat? So here are my you know, tips on how to start a vegan diet. So when you give up meat, dairy, eggs, and processed foods like cakes or chips or you know breakfast cereals, things like that, you are giving up a lot of really energy dense foods. And that's actually a good thing, especially if you're trying to lose weight. But it also means that in order to get enough calories in, you actually are gonna have to eat a higher quantity of foods, which for me is awesome because I got to eat way more food and still lose weight. Um, but the rule is that you really need to be eating until you are comfortably full at every meal. And it might seem like a bigger quantity of food than you're used to. Now, I would say that the best thing to focus on is making high carbohydrate, low fat plant foods the centerpiece of all of your meals. So that might mean for breakfast, you start with a big bowl of oats with some fruit and maybe a little bit of nuts and then a big fruit smoothie. And for lunch, you're doing bean burritos or vegan sandwiches on whole grain bread, or maybe focusing on a grain like brown rice and then having some beans and veggies on top of it. Dinners can follow the same sort of pattern, or you can do vegetable soups or bean-based soups, uh, a big salad. You can even just do fruit as a meal, which I have done many times, and it's actually very enjoyable. Um, or, you know, you can even just do a big plate of potatoes, but really getting in those high carb foods so that you're having enough energy throughout the day and eating until you're comfortably full. Those are the two main tips that I have. Now, beyond that, I suggest that you commit to doing it for 30 days to begin with, because you can do anything for 30 days and it'll give you a good trial run of what it's like to, to eat a vegan diet. And after that, you know, I encourage you to stick with it. I, you know, at that point you will be feeling much better. Your skin will probably clear up and you'll probably have lost some weight. So you'll see a lot of great benefits, but stick to it for 30 days, uh, get through some of the harder, harder points. You're also going to be eating a lot more fiber than you're used to. And that means you need to drink a lot of water. Uh, you might not be used to drinking just plain water throughout the day, but I suggest that you have a water bottle by your side at all times full and that you're constantly drinking water throughout the day. The extra water helps with the extra fiber. And beyond that, uh, I encourage you to, to explore the world of, of vegan recipes. Some are very easy, some are very complex. Some mimic the meat or you know dairy that you might be missing. Others are focused more just on traditional uh, meals from other parts of the world, beans and rice from Latin America, sweet potatoes, yams from Africa, you know, rice-based dishes from Asia, things like that. So it's a fun world of food and I encourage you to explore it. But again, like I said, to recap, the most important tips that I have are one, make sure you're eating enough and two, focus on high carbohydrate, low fat foods. And just to be clear, that does not mean white processed flour, like bread or white tortillas or things like that. And it doesn't mean white sugar, okay? We're talking about foods that are naturally high in carbohydrates and naturally low in fat. So again, that's potatoes, brown rice, quinoa, black beans, uh, sweet potatoes, 
oats in the morning and fruit and then of course vegetables uh, throughout your day as well at every meal. And finally, yeah, you should always have fruit by your side. Never leave the house without it. It makes it a fantastic snack on the go and also in between meals, I'm always snacking on fruit. So those are my big starter tips, but just go for it. It's not as hard as you think. And after 30 days, you will be feeling better. I guarantee it. So I hope that helped and I will see you guys next week for the next video. Take care.